Hi guys. I haven't talked a lot about things that I'm really interested in talking about on this channel. And that's mostly because I didn't want to scare people off. But now I think it's kind of important that I actually talk about these things. Because it's a big thing to me. It's something I talk about a lot and think about it a lot. And I think it's something that should be addressed a lot. So today I'm going to talk about... Um, this is just the base of what... Um, I talk about a lot. This is just going to be about masculinity, femininity, um, how society forces people to fit into a box of expression and why they shouldn't and everything. So, today in health, um, we are doing sexuality and gender identity stuff and I have such strong thoughts on both of those topics. I they are something that I think about a lot as a gender queer and um and queer person. So um I do, I do have a lot of thoughts on it and I do have a lot of opinions and um I talked a lot and then um we had to answer a question which was a thing um about how society sees masculinity and femininity, the stereotypes that are placed on those labels, that kind of thing. So I want to talk about that now because I talked about it in class, but I think it's something I should also put up here. So, um, I'm going to start with the assumption of the sexuality of genders um, or of the way people present themselves. For example, someone who, um, no matter the gender, Someone who sort of expresses themselves as feminine, whether they be a male, female, genderqueer, whatever, um, they're generally assumed to be interested in men. Um, and it's the same with masculine presenting people. Um, a masculine man is assumed to be straight. Um, a masculine female is assumed to be gay. And there's just all this ridiculous assumption that is placed upon people. And it came down to one thing in my mind, which was that people... It comes down to the relationships between people and what people think of those relationships. So I'm sure you have heard someone say to a gay or lesbian couple something like, who's the man or who's the woman? Um, and I was thinking about this a lot and it occurred to me that this is because the reason people ask these kind of questions is because they assume there has to be a balance in a relationship and that one must be feminine and one must be masculine for the relationship to work out. When actually any any combination of gender or expression is absolutely normal and there's no wrong way or right way to have a relationship. Well, I mean, there is, but in terms of gender, there's not. Um, and I just, I got very um, passionate about this because it's not just the relationships that are stereotypes that are placed on masculine and feminine people. Um, there is... Females um, are assumed to be weak. If a female stands up for herself and is assertive, people go, oh, you're being a bit bossy, aren't you? Um, and if you're a male and you express your emotions, you're immediately called gay, which is just what is wrong with the world. Ridiculous. Um, but it is just assumed that men do not really express their emotions and don't care about things. It is also in that way assumed that a guy shouldn't care too much about a relationship. Whereas if a woman does that's totally everyone's like, oh yeah, we expect that, that's normal. But if a male is the one um pursuing someone and he's like he's really emotional about it, everyone will be like, Whoa, that's um that's a bit weird. Which I think it's ridiculous because, um, I keep doing this head ball thing, so I'm annoyed. <laughs> Basically, society has a really close-minded way of looking at gender identity and sexual identity because, in society's eyes, um, everyone fits into one box or the other, which is not the way it is for everyone because gender and sexuality exist on such wide spectrums that honestly no two people are the same. And the same with that is um, how people seem to think that that physical attraction is the only kind of attraction. Um, I have 
asexual friends who ha- are in relationships and when people find out they're like what how are you in a relationship if you're asexual because in their minds um no relationship can exist without sex which i think um that is completely untrue because there are so many different types of attraction you have um physical attraction slash sexual attraction um romantic attraction and there's um sensual attraction and aesthetic attraction um most people they're all their different types of attraction match up for example someone might be romantically sexually um sensually and aesthetically attracted to women only but for some people it does not all match up and it, there are overlaps and changes in each different kind and that can be very confusing for the person and for other people who are told about this I understand but it is also important that we understand this that not everyone is the same and fits into one category um this uh, hang on a second this is not at all um planned out or anything because I honestly wanted to speak my mind on this openly um but for the last part of this video, I'm going to talk about education and how education restricts expression. So I think the first and most obvious kind of um, restriction in education is a uniform um, in regards of gender. And it's not, it's just, for example, at my school, if a female wants to wear the boys' shorts, Apparently she has to um, go through the heat of school and then come up with this really, like, she has to have a reason and talk about it a lot, which is um, completely ridiculous because anyone, without regards to their gender or their expression, should be allowed to wear whatever they want, whatever makes them feel comfortable. And, oh, it just really irritates me. Um... And while females do have a problem with um, wearing male clothes sometimes, it is also a so much more of a problem if a male or um, biological male person wishes to wear feminine clothing. Um, and immediately people just look at them like, what are you doing? I remember um, recently... In my drama class, there were a few kids who were still um, wrapping up their lesson, but we were in the class too. And a guy was uh, trying on someone's kilt, and all everyone in my class was going, <laughs> he's wearing a skirt, a guy's wearing a skirt. And uh, it is just ridiculous because clothing should not in any way be a restriction for you being who you are and who you're comfortable with being. So, this was just a little bit of my thought on this, and I really wanted to do this video just to get started on this topic, because it's such a wide, vast topic, because honestly, identities are infinite, and there are no two that are exactly the same. Everyone loves in different ways, everyone expresses and identifies in different ways, and I think it's important that we all accept that and embrace it. Bye.